to Blender Cinematic, I've been able to pull off complex destruction simulations in Blender using RBD Lab add-on, and I also started uploading relevant tutorials on this channel. If you'd like to purchase the RBD Lab add-on and support the channel at the same time, please use the affiliate link in the description below, which allows us to receive a commission at no additional cost to you. Thank you. In this version, I worked on uh, resolving the shadow flickering issue that has been happening on most of my uh, Mantaflow smoke simulation. So the reason why there is this shadow flickering issue is because of the transparent light bounces under render settings. Here's the render with this issue resolved. Let's take a look. Under render settings, under render properties, under light paths, I increase the max bounces to 20. And then I also increase the transmission, volume and transparent to 20. The shadow flickering is gone once I made these uh, render changes. For the cooling tower model, I used the cooling tower from City Builder 3D add-on. In the RPD Lab add-on, I used the annotate tool to draw more lines where I wanted many smaller chunks, in addition to the standard scatter. I increased the scatter density to 3500 and I used own particles and annotation pencil as the source and then increased the max chunks to 3500. Here's an example on how I used the activators to activate the smaller chunks. And here are the constraints by selection. And here's the uh, low poly forest model that I got from Blender Kit add-on. And I just sculpted uh, the plane after subdividing it. And here's the particle system for distributing the tree assets. And here's with the smoke and particles. This is command line interface rendering and I typically use this as this uses less RAM than Blender's GUI interface. 